Do you realize there are 168 hours in a week for you to do your magic? Some people think 168 is a lot of time and others think it is not enough. Are you happy with what you are doing with that time? If you live a life of drudgery in your daily grind, 168 hours as a week is a long time and you will be watching the clock a lot of that time. If you live a life of freedom and choice, 168 hours a week will not even matter. You will wonder where all of that time went at the end of the week. You can really live a lot of those 168 hours in a week and not just exist. Living a life of choice and freedom is a choice. Life is really long. People often say life is short. I disagree. Life is really long. More so if you are forced to do what you hate much of that time. When you are really living and enjoying the life you never look at the clock. When you are at a job you hate you are always looking at the clock. Every look at the clock adds to the tally of life sucking waste of time. It is sad to live praying for your precious time on earth to quickly sail by, bringing you ever closer to the end of your life. Time is the ultimate limited resource and very, very precious. Why are we so easily willing to trade it or waste it for almost nothing in return? When you live the unfortunate experience of looking into a terminally ill loved one's eyes and all they wish for is more time, you will realize the importance. This will happen at least once in most of our lifetime. It makes looking at the clock praying for time to fly by at a dead-end job or lackluster existence cringe-worthy. Avoid experiencing the regret of excessive wasted time in life at all costs. 168 hours in a week is enough time. Are you making the best use of your 168 hours in a week? I suggest you begin to painstakingly documenting that time. When we say we don't have time for fun, to enjoy life, doing something important or live a life of contribution, that is false. There is plenty of time for the important things in life. These things are what makes life enjoyable and worth living. There is time but we are usually wasting it in small increments daily. You don't even notice the small increments but they add up to huge life-stealing chunks of time. When you document everything you spend time doing for 168 hours in a week you will be able to identify and reclaim that life-stealing wasted time. The trick is not to find extra time but to eliminate waste to free up time. It is a very simple life-changing process. Reclaim your time and enjoy it. Perfection is achieved, not when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, 1900. Once you begin to document everything you spend time on during the week, you will find you waste a lot of time. With small changes in habit and dedication, you will reclaim more than enough time to do all the things you love, spend time with friends and family and enjoy more of life. You may find that you spend more time on social media than you thought and you can reclaim that time. Don't be surprised if you find you spend more time watching television shows that you would like. You may find you waste time when you are bored, like visiting a co-worker's cubicle or going to the cafeteria or break room to do nothing, reclaim that time. You may even find you waste time bullshitting around at the gym and you can reclaim that time also. Those are some of the things I found I was doing to waste time and I was more than happy to reclaim that time. When you begin documenting your 168 hours in a week you will easily find time to reclaim to do the things you now believe you don't have the time to do. There is more than enough time to contribute, enjoy, and be more. Make the best of your 168 hours in a week. Even with all of the newfound time you have reclaimed out of the 168 hours in a week you still can't do everything. The good news is you don't have to do everything. You have worked on your time log to cut the non-essential out of your 168 hours in a week. Continue that process. The minimalist living simple lifestyle works for me to stay focused, eliminate the non-essential, and engage in the important. Do what works for you. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and Elon Musk have the same 168 hours in a week as you do. They have worked miracles of that time and so can you. Who am I kidding? 
If you are anything like me or a regular person you will need to slow your roll and take baby steps before you can approach the massive productivity of these greats. I have learned to reclaim time with a minimalist uniform wardrobe from these guys. Steve Job was the king of that time-saving tactic. You always see him wearing a black turtleneck top and a pair of jeans. Why waste time shopping for stylish clothing or deciding what to wear in the morning? Simplifying your day, focusing on the essentials, and getting rid of the clutter help eliminate decision fatigue. This can be powerful because when you are physically and mentally tired you will not make the best choices to maximize the 168 hours in a week. Conclusion. Don't be surprised if you are able to reclaim a boatload of hours in a week. You may even become more efficient at work and cultivate relationships with friends and family. This tends to happen when you cut out the non-essential and focus on the essential. Clutter is unmade decisions and an unmade decision can rob you of precious time and clog up your life. What is important to you? Will you use your reclaimed time to do more at work or spend time with friends and family? Don't waste your life. Live and don't just exist. Find your mission and complete your journey. Use your 168 hours in a week as your template. Continue to mentally document the time you spend and reclaim the waste. Stop existing and really live your 168 hours in a week. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on that subscribe button. Please visit the description to get even more life-changing information.